Hey guys, Master Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so I've been waiting to make this one. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I was quite excited for the same name update. So, recently, uh, obviously with the fact that Team Bardock will be getting a Super Battle Road stage for Global, I did link level the physical LR Bardock, who I do have rainbowed. So, he is full link level 10. And now, with the same name update, in order for him to get like his best link partners and all that kind of stuff, his best team is this AGL Bardock team, the low class warriors slash revenge team. And obviously, before we got the same name update, you couldn't run them together and uh, the AGL Bardock is not on the Team Bardock category, so you can't really run these guys together in any other circumstance before. That would have been as good, so I wanted to jump in and show him off. I think this unit is super, super underrated. Um, so he greatly raises his attack for one turn, does colossal damage on his 12 key, and then his 18 key is mega colossal damage and seals super attacks. Uh, his passive is attack and defense 70%. He gets an additional 30% attack when you're doing the Ultra Super. He gets 4 extra key when there's only 1 enemy. And then he gets extra 60% defense when facing 2 or more enemies. So, in the future, obviously at some point, he's going to get an easy A. But in terms of, like, the release order, he's probably quite far away from getting one. Um, but of course, as we've seen recently, if we get some other celebration that is themed around Bardock or Low Class Warriors or even Pure Saiyans, then potentially uh, he could get one earlier than we expect. So uh, this Farsha and a lot of the other units of Team Bardock pretty much are his best link partners. Uh, we have brought the Int LR Team Bardock and when they are in slot three, obviously they have legendary power. He'll have all of his links active. And of course they are a 60% support if the unit is on uh, Team Bardock and the low class warriors. So this physical Bardock. I mean, technically, I guess he's, uh, they might actually be his best link partner. I think, I'm not sure if they have one or two missing, but obviously they're on the team. They're going to be providing fantastic support for him. And then I decided to bring Broly just because I needed a unit to be on rotation with the, uh, one of the Bardocks. So we'll probably transform, um, this one and have them together because they'll obviously pick up the, uh, Super Saiyan link. Because Broly is one of the better link partners. Obviously the best link partner really technically for the uh, this guy. Especially once you've transformed him is one of the existing Super Saiyan Bardocks. But until they get an easy A they are pretty weak units that in any sort of harder content can't really rely on. Whereas obviously Broly whilst he's not great defensively super good offensively. And uh, he'll be a decent enough link partner with him on the opposite rotation. So I really want to see with this guy... Uh, when this Team Bardock LR is in slot 3, this is going to be a very solid turn. So here we've got the 40% support from Turles, and then with the extra key, obviously, we're basically at almost full 24 key straight off the bat, which is pretty good. So go ahead and do this, and then give you these. So with the 40% support, what is his attack stat going to be here? Because Farsha's decent to put in slot 1 as well because of her dodging, so... Put her in slot 1, and then 5.1 with Turles on rotation. I mean, that's pretty good, considering how old he is. Should actually double-check uh, what his defense is, because obviously his defense is probably his uh, biggest weakness in terms of the current, like, end-game content. Um, which is why I really can't wait for him to get an easy A. But pretty solid attack stat. Uh, the rotation with the Team Bardock is going to be quite insane, thanks to the... Uh, that massive amount of support that they give. So, uh, right, so we do this. I guess we'll transform uh, the on rotation Bardock next time. I like to leave the uh, transformation for the AGL Bardock until nearer to the end of the event, because obviously once he transforms, you get a few turns where you get a chance to dodge and a chance to crit. Uh, built in so obviously if you transform him early in one of these long form events by the time you get to the last couple of stages which are obviously the harder ones uh, he doesn't have that dodge chance or uh, the crit the dodge is obviously probably most important for the harder content but of course he stacks defense on super so the longer you wait to build up as well the higher your defense gets so he's uh we can let him build up for a little bit and then transform. Of course, Broly takes the super. So, fortunately, we have jumped into the slightly easier uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history stage, just in the Androids one. 
because I know defense is uh, not the physical Bardock's strong point. I wanted to jump into one of the later harder ones, but it's hard enough to find um, AGL Bardock friends. So, but yeah, let's double check this uh, Bardock support. Is it low class warriors and team Bardock? Oh no, it's just super class allies, 30% and then team Bardock, 30%. So yeah, 60% to stats. Um, so they have every link except shattering the limit. So yeah, when you put these guys together, he has all of his links active. We've got 60% support. So yeah, let's go ahead and see just how good this is going to be. We can get the full 24 key. So yeah, this is, obviously this is going to be his best turn, but can we break 6 mil? Because he's getting the extra support, he's getting what, an extra 20% from what Turles was giving, but he's also got legendary power. Yeah, look at that, 6.14. That is pretty good for uh, an old unit like this. Over 6 million attacks that. So yeah, crit for 7 million damage and takes out Android 16. So I would say that that is, uh, that is pretty good. Um... We'll check his defense on the next turn because he doesn't get... We won't have any support on the next turn. So this is where I'll be interested to see what his defense is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and transform this Bardock now just so we have the Super Saiyan Link active. With Turles on rotation, we should do a lot of damage this turn. So. Uh, right, so we'll grab these for you. Yep, I'm going to get Tech Orbs. More same type orbs for Turles. So AGL Bardock, turn one, transforming 3.2. Not bad. Uh, again, like Broly's not his best link partner, but they will share a few decent links. Uh, some attack links as well as like prepare for battle. So just a casual 6.3 million from uh, Broly with Turles on rotation for the support. Don't even need to use his active skill. That is pretty insane amounts of damage. And then he gets the additional normal to finish him off as well. <laughs> Right, first form cell dealt with. So right, let's see what his uh, his defense is here. So 140k. I mean, that's not the worst, but yeah, when you're looking at the harder content like you know the GT Legendary Goku event or something, you definitely want above 200k. And even then, you're going to be taking proper like real damage from super attacks. So. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what his defense is once the Team Bardock is back on rotation. Because uh, Turles doesn't give any defensive support, he just gives the 40% attack. So with no support, it's 4.1 million. That's pretty good. So it's basically, what, 4.1, Turles gives 5.1, and then the LR Team Bardock gives 6.1. Which is pretty good, but here we're going to see uh, this lack of defense. Yeah, just over 100k. And this is one of the easier stages. Obviously, the super attacks do start to deal... A bit more damage once you get closer to the end, but I mean he still tanks. Uh, he'll still tank normal attacks really well in this event, but and yeah, unfortunately no uh, team Bardock. So these guys are AGL um, Bardock's only getting the 30% support, and Brody won't be getting anything. But potentially finish him off here. We're going to get the Dokon attack next turn as well, so we'll put um, the LR Bardock in slot one because. We're definitely getting it next turn. I don't want to do the Dokon attack with Farsha particularly. So <laughs> hopefully Turles, uh, hopefully Bardock's uh, Broly even can finish off Cell here. He doesn't get a guaranteed additional when there's only one enemy, but he's still dealing big damage. We well, get the additional super anyway. Let's go. 2.8 for him. I think my tech Broly has two dupes. Uh, he is full level 10 links as well. He's one of the first of my summonable LRs that I link leveled because I really like this card. So. Go over to... Okay, of course, Turles is going to transform. So we don't get the 40% attack buff, uh, but that's fine. Right, okay, so we want the Dokon attack with Bardock, so we'll put him in slot 1. Get the full 24 key. Not getting the support from Turles because he had to transform, because of course he did. Well, I would, I would love if when they give him his easy A, they just make it so that his transformation requires you to use active skill, but... Obviously, to do that, they would... Uh, I mean, even though... I guess they wouldn't have to add voice. Like, he's got the transformation animation. Just make that still the animation. Don't add a voice line. But 
I don't think that's the kind of thing they'll do with easy A's, like give units active skills that didn't have them before. But it would be very nice because nobody, you don't ever bring Turles on your team because you want him to transform. You just want him there for the 40% attack support. But 5.8 million crit is pretty good and tanking normal attacks with double digits is decent this far into the event. Uh, Farsha lowers attack, of course she gets super attack and doesn't dodge, nice. So how much is this going to be? This is a type disadvantage. 300k, nice. And then of course she dodges the uh, follow up normal attack. <laughs> now fortunately transformed Turles does have very high defense, so... We should be at least surviving the turn, and then we can heal up here. And then we'll get to see... Um... Well, actually, we had the Dokon attack, so yeah, we're all good. So this should be GG for you. And then, yeah, we'll get to see this next turn. This will be the last turn we will show uh, with the physical Bardock, with Team Bardock in slot 3. So we'll have his full link set active. We'll see what his defense is going to be. Hopefully we can get to 200k, because it was 140 without support. And he's getting 60% from them, and it's attack and defense. So, obviously, by far his best turn. But I definitely think he's a little bit underrated. I mean, he's still obviously not the best LR, but... Uh, I'm very, very excited for when he gets his uh, easy A. So, oh wow, so we locked in slot one. Okay. Well, that's fine. At least we got the rotation the way we want it. 189. So even with the 60% support, he's not quite at 200k. Um, I wonder if, because each of them do have one or two odd links that are not the same, but it's only showering the limit. Actually, he doesn't share with the LR. So I guess technically we could have brought like the Tech Tora instead of Fasha. Um, and they, he would still have Shattering the Limit active, and then the Tektora is also a support unit, so maybe then we could get to 200k defense, but either way. So this should be the, what, the 6.1 on the attack stat here. In fact, I don't know uh, if the Team Bardock raised allies super attack, uh, raise allies attack on their super, I don't think they do, but we'll see here, I guess. I get the additional, okay. <laughs> One day we'll get the extra two copies for these guys. Because I actually link leveled these guys as well. And the fact we still only can have them at 79% is pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, 6.4. So I think they do actually raise allies attack then. Because yeah, almost 6.5 million attack stat for him is, uh, is definitely pretty good. And then still tanking for double digits as well against the tech cell. Is very decent. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below of the physical Bardock. Have you pulled him? Um, obviously, he's not like the hypest of pulls if you got him from your like guaranteed LR summon or anything like that. But he definitely has the potential to be really good in the future. Yeah, raises super class allies attack by 30% for one turn. Yeah, so we got a 6.4 million attack stat off of him. So yeah, that is the physical LR Bardock Rainbow full level 10 links on the AGL Bardock team. Now possible thanks to the same name update. So, yeah, pretty good. Let me know what you guys think of him down below. What would you like to see from his potential EZA? And uh, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for it. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.